Apparently, there's a new front-runner system now for automatically generating computer code. According to their press release, the new leader is Stable Code 3B from Stability AI. That's one of the companies behind Stable Diffusion. Here's Stable Code 3B on Hugging Face. Okay, let's start with the facts. The new system covers 18 programming languages, including Python, JavaScript, C++, 15 others. Here's the full list. And it uses 2.7 billion parameters, which seems like a lot. But the point is actually the opposite. The AI world has agreed to consider models that are under 3 billion parameters as small in size. These kinds of models are designed to run on a laptop, so that's why it's called 3B, which stands for 3 billion, even though it's actually 2.7 billion. Now, if it seems odd that 3 billion is a small number today, and if it's interesting that someone is claiming to be the new front runner for AI driven code generation, then maybe it's a good time to review what's been going on in the world of writing computer code from text prompts. Let's start by reviewing what programs like Stable Code 3B are designed to do. Of course, they can suggest code snippets and fill in lines of code. They can recommend and import libraries or modules based on the context. They can translate code from one programming language to another, preserving the same functions and intent as before. For example, maybe we need to go from C Sharp to JavaScript for the web-based version of a game. Okay. Needless to say, there are many situations where we might need to translate code. And what a tedious process. Definitely, any head start on that kind of work would be very welcome, right? Also, these systems can automatically generate comments that explain the purpose of different parts of the code. And that can also be applied to legacy code that maybe wasn't too well documented when it was first written, and now needs to be documented after the fact, maybe after the original team is now gone. That's useful. Also, these tools can create summaries of how the software works, which is good. Also, obviously, these systems can help to find errors in code and can fix those errors. And beyond those basics, there's also a capability that gets a lot of attention online called fill in the middle. And that name gives a pretty good idea of what it does. It can help to complete partially written code. And as we said, the news stories are claiming that stable code 3B is now a leader for this. For example, here's a story on AI news which contains the following statement. Stability AI's new system outperforms comparable models like StarCoder and establishes it as a leader in this fast-moving space. Wikipedia might say, this article contains text that is written in a promotional tone. Please help us to improve it by removing promotional language. <laughs> also, is it really a bona fide leader? One approach to answer that is to follow the chat in the user community on sites like Y Combinator. Here's a really good thread. The gist of it is that actual users do recognize the theoretical value of a lightweight 3B model that runs fast on a laptop, but mostly they don't like the results they're getting. Most of them feel like the better results from the bigger, slower models are worth the extra wait time. But you'll also see many discussions about 
quantized models as a way to handle this trade-off. Those can be maybe 80% smaller than the large model they're based on and with very little accuracy loss. One of the people that's seen as an expert on that topic is a guy who goes by the name of The Bloke on Hugging Face. Here's his page. So, in general, people on Y Combinator seem to be much more skeptical than most of the bloggers and news editors that I ran across. Further down the page here, one person wrote, After raising a ton of funding, stability seems to be just throwing a bunch of stuff out there that's okay, but no longer groundbreaking. What am I missing? That one drew a response from Emad M. And that would be none other than Emad Mostak, the founder and CEO of Stability AI. I guess he's personally doing content moderation for his company on social media. <laughs> Imad starts out more or less on solid ground, pointing out that the business model is bundling. So companies want to create a one-stop shop for good quality models of every type and also variants of them. Okay, sounds reasonable. But then he goes on to use a rather unusual proof statement. On the innovation side, he writes, Stable Diffusion Turbo does like 100 cats with hats per second. All right, then. Guinness Book Record for cats with hats in one second. Of course, you can imagine that members of the community found ways to poke fun at that statement. Amni writes, 100 cats with hats per second. AI has peaked. <laughs> and RS Not writes, 2028 energy use on hat cat generation exceeds energy use for Bitcoin. <laughs> and to this, Ahmad replies, there are not enough cats on the internet. We're working to fix this. <laughs> well then, although it's not yet clear, at least to me, whether stable code 3B is now the leader in code generation, at least we can say that Stability AI is on track to break the world record for cats with hats per second. Internet, behold your future.